The firmament is something we hear of time and time again from flat earthers. It is this boundary that covers the flat earth and everything that we see in the sky is contained within it, apparently. But is there any proof or evidence for it? Well, today, apparently, we're gonna find out. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a quick thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream is smart TV for your smart TV. They're the Netflix for nerds, the Hulu for history buffs, and the Disney Plus for the scientists within us with award-winning exclusives and originals. Curiosity Stream has thousands of streamable documentaries and non-fiction TV shows on topics such as history, science, food, nature, technology, travel, and more. Featuring 35 collections of curated programs hand-picked by experts and streaming to any device for viewing anytime, anywhere. I've been looking at this engineering the future set of programs, which is a fascinating look at how we will power the world in the future. And it's narrated by a legend in Sir Patrick Stewart. Click on the link in the description and use my code SIMANDAN to sign up for just $14.99 for the whole year. Right, back to today's video, where YouTuber from death to life is going to show us, and I quote, 100% proof that we live under a dome firmament. This should be interesting. Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Henry from Death to Life. You guys are here for another breakdown video. And this one is uh, the title, High Altitude Balloon 18 Infrared Camera. And this is by Dwayne Killam. And um, I guess he filmed this on Saturday, November 10th, 2018. And um, it's it's a high altitude balloon, right? And it, it's uh, it's doing something weird, right? You guys definitely know we always look at things with that cricket eye, the truther eye, right? Ah, yes, the truther eye. Does this fall under the same category as do your own research? Looking at two different things at one time and trying to figure out what in the world is going on. So, so this balloon here uh, goes up to a hundred and 14,000 feet in the air. Almost uh, altitude meters um, is almost 35,000, 35, right? So I'm gonna back it up a little bit here and I'm gonna show you guys there's a problem here, right? Certainly not a problem with the curve of the earth. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So right here, watch the altitude in feet. right here Did you guys see that and it pops like all high altitude balloons do they all pop right pretty much yes not really sure of your point here all right let's go ahead and go back really quick Keep your eye on the altitude feet or the meters, whatever you want, but it's going to hit 114,709 and pause, watch. Boom. Um, honestly, what is the problem? I don't get it. You see, you see how it holds it there, right? It holds it there for a while. You can see how it's climbing. I'm going to show you in real time right now, right? I'm going to show you in real time. Let's go back to kind of closer to the time. Look at how fast it's climbing. Look at how fast it's climbing. You guys see that? It's climbing pretty fast. You see that there, right? But when it hits that 114,000 feet and, 700, oh, 14, and 709 and it pauses, it pauses for a long, you know, quite a bit from all this climbing. And um, you guys say like, oh, some, some globe earth is going to say like, oh, well, the pressure built up in it and, it and it blew up, right? 
Hmm, that's odd. But it's climbing this fast. Shouldn't it already be building pressure? Right? Yes, it's constantly building pressure because as the balloon gets higher, the atmospheric pressure around it gets lower and lower. This continues until the material of the balloon can no longer stand it and it pops. It should be slowing this thing down. But look, check this out, right? This, this, this is for the globe heads right here. At sea level, the atmosphere is greater over, the, over you compared to a higher altitude. Pressure is very strong at sea level and going down as the altitude goes up. The pressure goes down an inch of mercury for every 1,000 feet increase in altitude. 1,000 feet, right? This equates to about one millibar of pressure for every eight meters of inch in altitude. So, you know, we should have saw something, you know, happening to the balloon or the, or the, uh, the um, altitude and feet to like a slowdown, but it didn't. It, it, it had a constant speed until it hit that mark and it just stood there for a while. You guys saw that, right? Why would it slow down? There's no reason to suggest that it would. The pressure would continue to build as it rose until it burst. Simple as that. And it just stood there. Crazy, right? So, you know, I've been watching many other balloons. I called this one out um, in, the, um, in the beginning of the year. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll tape a little bit. Pin right here. This uh, Purdue pin. This is a, a balloon with a GoPro to near space. And this is from a Purdue University. And they sent in, they had a pin right here. You guys see that? Watch, and it says it, it says it bursts, but watch. I wonder what Jim is gonna discover here. Now, I'm genuinely writing this line before I actually look at his footage. I'm going for, it doesn't burst correctly or something like that. Boom, you guys see that? It actually hits something. Ah, okay, he's going for that. Well, it wouldn't be unreasonable to assume that the act of the balloon bursting would disrupt the camera mounted on it, would it? All the, um, the uh, rockets and balloons that go up, they all bounce off of something, like something is stopping them. You guys see that? I'm gonna go back just a little bit. Boom, you guys see that? I'm gonna slow it down. Oh, they, they slow it down actually. Watch, right here. You see that, how it bounces? It's bouncing them. It's not a, a burst. You know what I mean, per se? It's actually, they went up the balloon, it hits the top and it, boom, it, it, it actually creates like a bounce to it. Ah, yes, because a big balloon like that bursting wouldn't cause any disruption, would it? Yeah, so that's the one I did in, um, I think uh, in December yeah, of last year. And then of course, you guys all know, um, go fast rockets. It says uh, rockets hitting the dome. And we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Really? We need to see this one again? That rocket was stopped by what is called a yo-yo D-spin. Large weights on cables would have been flung out from the nose of the rocket. That was the noise, and they stopped the rocket from spinning. And you guys should really listen to this with headphones on, so you can really hear what's going on. So what are you saying? The dome is made from polystyrene. See, it's almost like water-like. You guys hear that? Almost like water. Like when you're underwater, like I have an underwater camera and then um, whenever I use it, you know, in the pool or whatever, this is exactly how it sounds. Muffled like that and everything. And it makes that little weird, you know, the water rippling, in, you know, underneath. So it hit water, but was still in space. Right. And besides, if we take a look at the camera on the right and slow the footage down. Oh, what's that? Right, so. Let's go ahead and watch this one. Balloon hits dome when scrapes against it. Watch. Go ahead and roll tape. 
So the same thing with this balloon, it was actually, um, you know, ascending, right? And all of a sudden, it just stops. And then now what it's doing is just scraping on something. Isn't that crazy? No, it's nonsense. Can you rule out that a part of the balloon or the rig underneath it is rubbing against the camera, causing that noise? No, you can't. Thought not. I like how he doesn't mention the earth curve whatsoever, like not even once. See, what I wish was this one um, having like an altitude or whatever meter on the right side. That would have been great, but it doesn't. But you could tell it just sits there and it just scrapes the whole entire time. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, and it stops it. So for all you globe heads too, um, this Go Fast Rockets wasn't... It doesn't have a yo-yo despin enabler on this rocket. It was just meant to fly fast and straight up. That's it. So a yo-yo despin would make it do, would supposedly slow it down so you can kind of see what's going on. It doesn't have this crazy spin to it anymore. Yeah, and that's exactly what happens. <laughs> And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divide the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above. Makes no sense at all that. I think we'll leave our friend from death to life here with his little fantasy. Honestly, is there no original arguments left from flat earthers? at all. I think not. And in terms of the permanent, there really is no evidence whatsoever to suggest that it exists. And everything that we've sent to space, everything we've done off of this Earth, completely contradicts its existence. Well, there we go. Another magnificent Flat Earth Friday for your viewing pleasure. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please, please do subscribe to the channel to see more. Uh, pop a, a like on the video as well, please. It'd be very much appreciated. Just enough time to once again thank Curiosity Stream for sponsoring today. Remember, click the link in the description, use my code Simon Dan, and you get Curiosity Stream for just $14.99 for the entire year. I have been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great weekend, and I'll see you all on Tuesday where someone's having a pop at the Blue Origin flight. See you then. <laughs>